Hi, my name is Patrick Houston with Extended Results and I'm doing a brief video update on some work where we used the Xbox Connect in a collaboration scenario. So what we did is we, we took the Xbox Connect and we connected it to my laptop and we wrote a bunch of code to enable a collaboration scenario and the scenario we chose was we decided to, to look at NBA coaches going into a conference room to collaborate on an up and coming game. So we, we're using the visual recognition technology that's in uh, Xbox Connect. We also decided to use the Windows speech libraries so I could call out commands. Workplace, start. So now the application starts up and down in the bottom corner it's going to start recognizing. So it's detecting Connect, recognizes me and then now I'm available for the demo. So this is that's really that's really powerful. So what I do is I begin waving my hand back and forth, and now it's available, so I can use my hand to gesture around that screen. So you can imagine, in a conference room, the value of that. I still have my voice commands available to me. I could say workplace, and it'll slide up, and then I can use any of the labels to initiate a command, or I could just hover my hand over, and that command will start. So in this case here, you can see it recognizes me. My default team is the Oklahoma City Thunder, so personalization is kind of built into this. What I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to compare myself to these Southwest teams. So I hover over, and it'll go into the team compare. Now here, my stats are already here, and what I want to do is I'm going to grab those Dallas Mavericks. I'm going to drag them, drop them in to the screen, and now I have it just like a scorecard view immediately and visually I'm able to see the strengths and the weaknesses between the two teams. Now if I grab this basketball over, let me grab it again, there we go. Now I have uh, from ESPN John Hollinger's power rankings. These are player efficiency or team efficiency rankings and, and um, it ranks my two teams, the Thunder being 10th and the Mavericks being 5th. So I'm definitely uh, outpowered here. So what I can do is I'm going to go up to this action screen I'm going to go into, what, I'm, what I want to do is I want to go into player matchups. So let's see if we can play around with uh, the players and those matchups to see if we can have a better team. Now, if you watch the green numbers spin, those numbers are the plus minus for these teams. So on the Dallas Mavericks, they score 3.68 points per minute against their opponents, while on our team, 1.5 points a minute versus our opponents. So what I know what I can do is I can come down and I can grab a center. I'm going to grab one of my centers and I'm going to drag him up there. And now that I'm comparing centers, you can see both centers lit up to see who's stronger, who's weaker. But you'll notice my points per minute actually went up. What we ended up doing is we take these five players and their time playing against each other and we run all the calculations for plus minus and we do the same on our team. So we literally go through hundreds of thousands of records to be able to calculate that. This is good but it's not enough. We're still outmanned at the end of the day in our plus minus. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this center here. Now this center is not the strongest rebounder. He's not the strongest um, uh, defender. He's not the strongest offensive player. But what's interesting about him is he's actually makes the whole team play a lot better. And if you watch that plus minus, that plus minus jumped really quick. So he actually makes when he's on the court all five players play much stronger well that's valuable to me and so I could say workplace email and I can email this to the head coach so that I can send him that lineup he's got a link back to the application and then I can go over here and I can say send so that's a really powerful collaboration scenario and you can see my hand move around as I talk this is a really powerful collaboration scenario that you could see could be used in the conference room for your executives or teams getting together or you may even use it in a retail scenario maybe you have a big screen up in one of the displays and as somebody walks up they'll be able to gesture to it and then be able to interact with the products that you display to them again thank you for watching our video here uh, my name is Patrick Houston with Extended Results if you want to find out more information just visit www.extendedresults.com thanks for watching